Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. So if you're watching these videos and you want to get into DCS, definitely check out Apex Gaming PCs. This is where I got my laptop. I'm super happy with what I received. And keep in mind that they have the A-Firm program, which allows you to pay month to month so that it doesn't hurt your wallet too badly. Check out the links below to make your own custom PC that fits your budget. Big thank you to Apex Gaming PCs. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're here in the Super Hornet, and we're gonna be dropping, uh, uh, we gotta get some JDAMs onto some targets of opportunity. I'm trying to set up the jet here, get the data link on. Uh, targets of opportunity, including maybe some early warning radars, uh, command and control vehicles, that kind of stuff. Uh, they're near the airfield, and we're being spiked by an SA-5 that's also at the airfield. Uh, so we need to take that out, and uh, looks like Radar is saying that there's uh, a couple of MiG-29s in the air as well. A couple of Syria MiG-29s, so... Uh, it's gonna be a busy day here. We're expecting some F-15s to help us out too at some point. Let's pull up the EW screen here so we can tell what's going on. Uh, we got these two hostile bandits on radar. Uh, AWACS is identifying those as hostile for me already. That's why they're red. Uh, so we'll go ahead and climb here. And go to meet these guys. He's at 26,000 feet and climbing. SA-5 still spiking me. There they are, they're showing up on data link, right there, 30 miles, 27 miles. Uh, RWR indicating SA-5 has missiles in the air. Let's offset the indicators here. Yeah, so we got five SA-5s in the air. Okay, let's break. Okay, those uh, MiG-29s were pretty far away, about 30 miles out, so we have time to defend here. I got all the chaff dropping out as we defend, uh, reducing altitude here, and slightly cold. We can't be cold too long. We gotta turn around and face those MiGs, because if I'm cold for too long, they're gonna chase me down and they're gonna kill me, so. Uh, sounds like we maybe defeated those missiles. So let's go ahead and recommit. Alright, we gotta turn around and face these MiG-29s. There they are once again, pushing me. So we'll point the radar over there and see if we can pick them up. Uh, watch the radar screen here. Locking him up at gimbal limits. There we go, got him locked at 18 miles. I'm using a range while scan. Uh, just because it's a uh, more reliable lock than uh, TWS or Twiz. Got this guy at 14 miles, I'll defend and then I'll shoot at the second MiG. Uh, 13 miles looks like they've shot at me as well. 12 miles Fox 3 and I'll go to bore sight. Just see, I, I'm trying to get a boresight lock on the second guy because I feel like he might be close enough, but he's not, so I'm just going to defend. I can't waste any more time. So we're going to defend. They're probably shooting R-77s. Uh, those were given to Syria by the Russians, I believe. Uh, defending now. The R-77 of Fox 3, by the way. Uh, 
I believe that first guy should have been hit by that. But that second mig is going to be a problem here in a second. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and recommit here and let's see if we can catch him. There, somebody's died over there, so that's nice, like I said. The second guy's up here. We got him at 7.4 miles. Fox 3, defending. And we got to get rid of these MiGs too, because some F-16s are supposed to come in to do some seed and take out those SA-5s for me. And if they get here and those big 29s are still here, they're going to be very upset. <laughs> All right. I uh, see two smoke trails. Those are probably SA-5 missiles. There we go. In the back, there's the second MiG-29. Okay, uh, those F-16s should be able to engage uh, the SA-5s now without any MiG-29s. So we're going to start approaching the uh, airfield. I'm going to come in nice and low altitude here as we set up for air to ground. Uh, remember, we are delivering uh, two JDAM 2000 pounders. We're going to come in low altitude, hopefully avoid those SAMs and whatever radars they have there. There's a possibility of other MiG-29s in the air, possibly MiG-21s, I don't know. Uh, so if we come in low, maybe we can avoid those guys a little bit as well. And uh, like I said, there's supposed to be some F-15s who show up to give us some top cover. Uh, so those guys will be greatly appreciated when they show up. Remaining low altitude here as we ingress on the target. A little diamond on my HUD indicating uh, where the waypoint is. I've set waypoint 1 and designated that as a target, which is on the airfield, so we can find our targets nice and easy. I don't hear any more uh, RWR notifications, so I think those F-16s might have knocked out those SA-5s, uh, or at least they're pretty close. So I'll probably do a pop-up here in a minute. Flying super low right now, though. Treetop level. <laughs> And if this was like a super high threat environment, I could toss these JDAMs in, but I don't think it's going to come to that. So let's go ahead and pop up here, see if we get spiked. Okay, nice and clean. So I think we're good. No SA-5s. F-16s did their job. Uh, let's have a look at waypoint one, which again was designated the target. Uh, we're observing uh, with FLIR. And we're going to see if we can find our command and control buildings, or vehicles, I should say. You can see those rotating uh, radar dishes over there. Those are going to be our targets, those guys right there. And they probably see me coming, but not much they can do. <laughs> they don't have any more SA-5s. All right, I got the middle of those two radars designated. 2,000 pounds should knock both of those out, and then 
I'll pull over to the right and we'll get the other uh, command and control uh, vehicle there, possibly another radar. Okay, I'm in zone. Uh, pickle, one away. And let's pickle the other one right there on that radar there. Pickle, two away. Possibly be some AAA, so I'm gonna pull up here, and we'll drop some flares in case there's a short-range IR I can't see. Possible man pads. Look at all that AAA. Wow, they're not happy about that. Oh, we got impact. I missed it. It was under the clouds anyway. But yeah, there we go. Good hits. Good hits on our target. Can depend on those J dams, man. Those things are great. They're so accurate. I love those things. Okay, we have two MiG-29s coming in from behind me, so we might have to make a run for it here. Uh, we got two F-15s coming as well, nice, from in front, two MiG-29s behind. Alright, I've turned around to face these MiG-29s, I figure we can at least shoot one or two of them. Got this guy at 32,000 feet at like 31 miles, 34,000 feet. These guys are really climbing. Uh, and I figure if I can distract them a little bit, I might make the job even easier for those F-15s. Uh, both of those MiG-29s now looking at me and vectoring onto me as well. Now, I did want to distract these guys, but I think I've accidentally made myself bait. <laughs> They're both coming at me now. 23 miles Fox 3. Twenty-two miles now. I'll defend, and I want to. There's the airfield up ahead. I want to hold a slight crank on that missile. I'll try to hold that lock as long as possible. Unfortunately, that's going to put me in line with the airfield, so I'm just going to have to break. Because if I go too close, we're going to get hit by AAA. I think. As we pull away, that's okay. Everything's fine. And look at, oh, whoa! Look at all that AAA. I knew it. It's a good thing we didn't go much closer than that. <laughs> that AMRAM did if it hit him, but at least it provided a bit of a distraction. Look at all that flak. So much flak in the air. They got a lot of AAA, those guys. Alright, we'll start flying towards those F-15s, uh, but when I look at the situational awareness page, we have those two red guys you see there on the screen that's indicating two hostiles, still airborne. So maybe my AMRAM didn't kill anybody. Uh, we got an F-15 up high, look at this. There he is. Only one mig up high, but the second one is like down low here because he defended my AMRAM. And I'm kind of worried he might try to ambush those F-15s. So I got him locked here at 8 miles. Let's see if we can get him with uh, my AMRAM. I got three left. Uh, he just fired a missile into the ground. 8 miles now, 7.9. He fired at somebody. Uh, we are... Okay, there we go. Shoot Q, Fox 3, and we're defending. He shot at me as well. Alright, pulling away from him now. A couple of flares in case he fired a Fox 2 as well. 
and I think we survived. Uh, I don't know what happened to that MiG-29 though. I got a small glitch on my aircraft here. It says I have no more AMRAMs left. It says AB0, but I know I have two or three more. So that's it for me. I'm out of the fight. Uh, you know, I'm glitched out or whatever. So I'm going to leave. I'm going to get out of here as fast as I can. And it's up to those F-15s to do their thing.